something hey if you haven't already please subscribe to my youtube channel all right now that i got that out of the way playing another little funky kind of james brown inspired groove over the one chord you know i like to really uh play a lot over like one chord vamps and things like that you know because if you can say a lot and if you can come from different ideas and things with just one chord then it'll help you have more ideas for playing over more chords and things like that, you know. So this is just a collection of different little things that I do, you know. Like there was a little bit of, uh, you know, like Hiram Bullock quotes in there, you know, just playing around, having fun. Because this is a guy that I listened to who was a master of playing over, you know, like one chord or whatever like that. And then I, I just twisted it around in my way. I don't really play with a lot of... Uh, I don't play with any jazz sophistication, really, you know. <laughs> but I just take the um, the the things. I just kind of take different things for different players that move me in a way, you know, like players like 
Larry Carlton, Robin Ford, we all talked about Hiram Bullock, fantastic New York guitar player, you know. He wasn't originally from New York, but he made his mark in New York, I would say, you know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just, you know, playing, uh, playing these different grooves are really always a lot of fun, you know. So I definitely would say, you know, starting off with, like, really simple, starting off with just one idea. You know, and just working that for a while. It's all about, you know, just a little bit at a time, pacing yourself and, you know, having somewhere to go. And if you don't have a lot of places to go, then you just have to study more players, you know, and eventually after time, you know, to start to start to morph into your own playing. You know, and I know I've touched on these subjects before, but I really think it's important because I get as kind of somewhat in a way, often about, you know, just approaches and different things like that. And I think a big thing is just developing your ear to be able to pick out certain things, even without the guitar, just developing your ears. You know, we live in an era where people just want to be shown everything. And I think it may be sometimes better, almost ear training, you know, to just listen at music and not really know what the player is doing and then that kind of helps you form your own style in a way you know i think you take a little bit of this one from that one because there's no rules really in improvising you know it's like whatever feels good whatever sounds good and you know really whatever sounds good because you know pretty much you know with standard diatonic like harmony you'll be able to tell pretty quickly if it sounds good or if it doesn't sound, you know, good. So just let your ears be your guide to, you know, playing. And then it's really cool to just take one chord, you know, and just like play and just come up with different ideas and and a timing, you know, playing around with timing, playing with uh, slow tempos, playing with medium tempos and even faster tempos, you know, and things like that. And I feel that, uh, you know, like lead playing, yeah, that's, you know, I've always looked at it as sort of a, um, you know, I don't want the rhythm to really drop out even when I take a solo. Sometimes it's out of necessity because I'm playing with drummers, maybe with, well, I used to play with drummers with shaky time, you know, when I was a kid. And, you know, I would have to kind of keep that even if I take a solo or just jamming or whatever, I would have to keep some sense of rhythm of where we're going, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's about it today. Hope everybody's doing okay over this Labor Day weekend in my home uh, country of the United States. <laughs> and everybody take care. All right.